Hi, I'm attorney Jacob Beer. I'm from Holly Kaufman and Kautzer. This is going to be a series about the various types of court dispositions for non-criminal citations, as well as misdemeanor and felony convictions. Make sure, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like us and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. In Wisconsin, there are three general ways that citations are issued and resolved. The first is for a non-criminal citation. Now, an example of a non-criminal citation would be a violation of a local county ordinance or a city violation for disorderly conduct. In those instances, the conduct is unlawful but may not rise to the level of criminal charges. Following an arrest for disorderly conduct, for example, police may refer the violation to the district attorney to review and decide whether formal criminal charges should be issued rather than a non-criminal city citation for disorderly conduct. When it comes to how non-criminal citations are resolved, there are generally three ways that those are disposed of. One being a forfeiture, which is a fine plus any court costs that must be paid as it relates to that conduct. The second way that a non-criminal citation may be resolved is a requirement that the individual completes some sort of community service. The third common way that non-criminal citations are resolved is through what's called a deferred prosecution agreement or a deferred conviction agreement. And in those instances, the individual will enter a plea of either guilty or no contest to the violation, but the conviction is suspended for the individual to complete certain conditions over a certain period of time. And if those conditions are met, the charge could be dismissed. Now for criminal citations or in charges, there are two classifications, the first being misdemeanors, the other being felonies. And in Wisconsin, there are four classifications of misdemeanors, classes A, B, and C, and then there's a general unclassified misdemeanor category. For a class A misdemeanor, the maximum penalty can range from $10,000 to nine months in custody, usually at the county jail. The lower end of the misdemeanor charges is a class C misdemeanor, which could result in a 30-day jail time or a $1,000 fine. Some misdemeanors for unclassified offenses or those that have habitual offender enhancers, the penalties could increase to 12 months in jail or even prison time. The other way that a criminal conviction could be resolved is through a period of community supervision called probation. And in a later video, I'll get into more detail about what that consists of and what those requirements can include. The other way that criminal charges can be classified are felonies, and there are nine classifications of felonies in Wisconsin, ranging from the most serious being class A felonies to the lowest classification being class I. The penalties for felonies range from a $1,000 fine to up to $100,000, and there are certain felonies where there is no maximum fine that can be imposed. Now for felonies, there can be two types of supervision, whether it's extended supervision or probation. And as I said previously, probation is generally reserved for misdemeanor sentences, but that can also be used for a felony in which the individual is not sentenced to a prison term. For individuals convicted of a felony and they receive a sentence of a prison term, those terms of imprisonment will be what's called bifurcated, which is a fancy word for saying broken up between a period of time in the Wisconsin prison system, followed by some sort of period of supervision called extended supervision. The length of confinement for felonies can range from three and a half years to 40 years and even to life for certain convictions. Check out my next video where I talk about the differences between jail terms and prison terms.